let me show you this super cool trick to get natural sounding side chained reverbs. Here I have this track, it's called Taking Off by Jace Carillo, and it's gonna be coming out very soon, so keep an eye out for that. Let's solo this vocal and take a listen to the reverbs. Ain't no more stars above, interest in style of love. Because I know you got what I want, babe. Yeah, yeah. Your mind and body, I'm loving. Oh. So you can see here on these reverbs Ain't some no compression happening. Above. And this is actually sidechain compression using this R comp. And what I'm doing is I'm taking a vocal and I'm sending with a bus into the R comp on the reverbs and compressing the reverbs when the vocalist is singing. So in between lines, the reverb is actually uncompressing and blooming. And it makes for this very cool natural sounding reverb that kind of blooms in the space. What is up my friend, Jacob here with another video to help you record better, mix better, and work better. Today we're taking a look at sidechain compression on reverbs and delays also. This is a technique that I've seen used a couple times and I find it's a very cool way to get natural sounding reverbs that kind of stay out of the way of the vocal and then in between lines there's a natural kind of bloom of sound, reverb and delays kind of in behind the vocal making for a cool kind of dynamic vocal sound. Let's quickly take a look at the settings on this compressor. So you'll see on both this hall reverb and ping pong delay which is also affected by a huge reverb on the ping pong. I have an R comp on both of these. I have a fairly medium fast attack and a very slow release. And what that does is when the reverb gets compressed by the vocal, it's compressing quite fast so that it stays out of the way of the vocal. And then the release is very slow so that the bloom in between the vocal lines, the bloom is kind of slow and natural sounding. I have the ratio set at 3.26, which is just kind of eyeball. I just kind of see how much it's compressing and I kind of feel it out. Threshold, same thing. I kind of bring it down until I feel like it's compressing enough and staying out of the way. So let me show you how to set this up from scratch. So I have my vocal here dry. Let me take off all the delays. Babe, yeah, yeah. Your mind and body I'm loving. Oh. Nice. It sounds good. I like it. It's in my face, but I want to add a little bit of depth without reverb getting in the way of that vocal. So let me create a stereo auxiliary track. Let's call it Verb. Let's add one of my favorite reverbs and probably the cheapest, Valhalla Vintage Verb. I'm gonna put it on one of my favorite presets here in huge spaces, Homestar Blade Runner. Super underrated preset on this reverb. You guys should definitely check it out. I'm gonna filter it off a little bit. I'm gonna bring the decay down because it's a little long. Let me close this. Let me make a send now to this track. Put it right here. Where's my reverb? Reverb. Verb. There you go. And let me put full send. Just so you kind of hear the full effect, let me route it to my mix bus. Babe, yeah, yeah. Your mind and body I'm loving. Oh. So you see, nice reverb, a little bit long, a little bit too spacey, but I like the texture of it. So what I want to do is now I want to sidechain that reverb with my vocal so that when the vocal sings, the reverb ducks, and when he's not singing, it kind of blooms in the back. And to do that, you're going to want to add a R compressor, which is my compressor of choice. You can use any comp that you want, really. I just like the R compressor because it's super CPU friendly and very simple to use. I'm going to add a sidechain input with a bus, let's say bus 19. And on this vocal track, I'm going to add bus 19 as a send. And let's go full send. Babe, yeah, yeah. Your mind and now as the vocal is playing, I'm going to find kind of a sweet spot of compression. Let me bring it down to like 3 to 1 ratio. That's pretty good, around minus six kind of feels nice. It's obviously, it's releasing way too quickly. The attack time seems fine, it's releasing way too fast. Let's bring this release up quite a bit. Let's put it at almost 3,000. Let's see what that sounds like. Babe, yeah, yeah. Your mind and body I'm loving, oh. Nice. Thinking stop us, feeling so taking over. Nice, that sounds pretty good. I think maybe we have just a little too much reverb in general. Let's bring the send to the reverb down to like minus 10. Babe, yeah, yeah. Your mind and body uh, maybe a little more. Nice, let's hear it in the context. Nice, 
Let's exaggerate it just so we can hear it. And that's it, it's as simple as that. Now I have this nice lush reverb in the back that's staying out of the way of the vocal using this sidechain technique. Now this can also be used on delays. I like to use it on delays that have kind of a long feedback so that when the singer is singing, the delay stays out of the way and then blooms again in the back. Let me show you kind of what that sounds like. Let's take off this reverb and let's put a H delay. Do like a classic quarter note, you know, filtered a little bit with a long enough feedback, take off the analog because nobody likes the analog knob. I don't know why they put it there in the first place. And I think even with the delay, we can actually make a longer release. So you can see that the delay is kind of blooming in the back after the vocal stops singing. While he's singing, you don't hear the delay too, too much. But when he stops, you really hear it bloom in the back. Now, a technique I like to do is add a reverb after my delay. So it's a little less kind of hard. It's a little more smooth. I'll add a little ROM delay, maybe at like 25%. Let's filter out some of the top end and bring the decay down a bit. Now, let me put it a little more into context. Nice. And I think for my own personal taste, I would put a little more reverb after that delay. Nice. Let me stop the playback so we hear the tail. It's, it's actually quite a, a heavy delay, quite a heavy reverb, but because I have the side chain, it's staying out of the way of the vocal. And when the vocal stops singing, you hear it just kind of explode in the back. It gives me this nice dynamic between the vocal and the track where the vocal sits in my face, but the delay and reverbs come after and stay out of the way of that lead to kind of keep that separation and that depth. And that's really it. Very simple technique, but very powerful nonetheless. Sidechain reverb, sidechain delays to keep them out of the way of your vocal. And that's all for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. And before you go, I want to tell you about something very, very special. If you're just getting started in audio and you're not sure where to start, what to buy, and how much it costs, I have written up a gear guide which breaks down everything you're going to need and how much it costs. I give you a bunch of different options at a bunch of different price ranges, and it's absolutely free. Go to www.mixwithjacob forward slash gear guide. Pick that up, beginners in audio, what to buy and how much it costs. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment down below and let me know what techniques do you use to keep your reverbs and delays out of the way of your vocal while keeping the vocal up front and in your face. I want to know, I'm always looking for new techniques to try, so let me know down in the comments. I will see you next week. Peace.